the next thing that we're going to take a look at is uh, importing and using images. You know, like I had mentioned before, um, you can create titlers in different formats. And you know, if you look down here, um, you'll be able to see some of the different formats um, that a tiller can be uh, created with. Uh, you can actually create uh, titlers that are actually images, um, JavaScript code. And sometimes JavaScript code uh, you, uh, is used for actually creating new plugins for uh, TiddlyWiki that uh, you can extend it further and to do different things. Uh, a data dictionary. Uh, you know, there's just some different things that you can do. Um, so when you're importing something into TiddlyWiki, you're actually creating a titler with it. Let's say, for instance, that uh, I have an image. Let's just say I have an image here that I want to import in. Um, keep in mind, too, that uh, this is another nice feature of Firefox. Uh, you know, in some other browsers, you might have an issue with this. I haven't had any issues with Firefox. But all I have to do to import an image into TillyWiki is to click and drag it. And what happens is I have a dialog box that comes up and it asks me to import this image. And uh, I'll go ahead and click on import. And now the image is imported. It's actually part of my TillyWiki. And if you've looked at my TiddlyWiki file, it's actually grown by the size of that image. In fact, if I look at that, if I look at my uh, TiddlyWiki uh, code here um, that all of this data is being stored in, and I look up that, you know, that, that image was called index.jpg. Um, there's several references of it here, but if you look here, here's the image. It's actually stored all in this single file. When I back up this thing, I'm backing up images, I'm backing up everything. But keep in mind, you know, if, if you're going to make this, uh, this, uh, your wiki uh, image heavy, um, you know, keep in mind that, uh, you know, the bigger images and the more images and the more documents that you put in TillyWiki, um, you know, the bigger that file is going to get. So, uh, but you know, if you're on a solid state hard drive, you've got a newer machine, um, you know, none of that really is going to make a difference, right? So, in any case, uh, let's say that now that I have this image, which if I click on it, there's my image, let's say that I want to include it in a titler. Well, just keep in mind that I can't write in here. This is an image titler. It's in the format of an image. So if I want to use this, I'm actually going to take this and display it somewhere else like for instance down here. And uh, how I do that is I'm going to add left bracket, left bracket, the title of the titler that I want to, uh, that's, excuse me, that is a link. If I click that, that's going to open a link. <laughs> now you know what a link is. <laughs> that's a link. But if I want to actually import the image, I'm going to use the squiggly brackets. Put in the title of the image. And now, as you see, the image has popped in there. Now, I don't have to import images. I can actually, uh, I can actually include images that are that have a location on the internet. And how I do that is I just get the URL of that image, and I do left bracket img, and then I do a left right bracket and another closing right bracket. But inside those inner brackets, I'm going to put the image location on the internet. So let's say that I, I wanted to find this thing, uh, uh, let's say that I go to, um, uh, uh, let's say I go to Google Images and uh, I'm gonna grab an image, grab that same image. Um, I'm gonna copy that, lo copy that image location. Now I go here, I've just copied that image location and I'm gonna paste it in there it's a big location. <laughs> it's Google. So now, as you can see, that it's displaying that image. Uh, one image is from our titler, the other one's from the internet. So this is something to keep in mind uh, as you use um, images. Um, 
from the internet or you import images into TiddlyWiki that there are different formats different tiddlers use and if you import an image it's an image if you look at it, the type is an image tiddler that's all it's that's all it does so um, uh, hopefully that was useful to you, kind of give you an idea. Uh, next um, tutorial, we're going to look at installing a plugin.